Hey. I can, can everybody hear me? Can everybody hear me? I tend to talk really, really loud, so I'm going to apologize in advance. So, how's everybody doing so far? Everybody still with it? You still with us? You still with us? I am the type of guy I got to tell you now that I really have to feel you. So let me know. Are you still still here? Still with us? Thank you. Thank you. So here's the thing. I am going to talk to you about community today. Um, basically, the meaning of the word community, how we define community in Richmond as Richmonders, how we define and re and we're re always redefining community as Richmonders. So how we apply that definition of community when we think of Richmond. And more importantly than all of that, I am here to ask for your help. I need your help. Richmond has this thing. Basically, earlier this year, I decided to start an online, um, an online conversation about the meaning of community. Richmond always has this cycle. About every five to eight years or so, you realize Richmond feels the need that they have to hit the reset button. We have to redefine who we are as a city and as a community. And I actually think that that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing to figure out where we are and where we're going in the future. But this is Richmond. So that always seems to come with an unbelievable amount of tension, right? Because let's face it, no city in America wants to move forward more while at the same time remaining exactly the same <laughs> than Richmond, Virginia. But I really, really believe that we're in a very good place right now. Right now, I believe that something special is happening in Richmond, and I hope you can all feel it. But it's inevitable. With all this energy and all this excitement and the branding of RVA everywhere, it's inevitable that something happens that makes you stop in your tracks and makes you ask yourself, and actually, frankly, it challenges you to say who we are as a community, who we are as a city, and who are these people at the table that's making these decisions that ultimately affect my city and my community? Do they know me? Do I know them? Do they re represent my values, right? Earlier this year, there was an article published, on Richmond, uh, published in January for Richmond Grid. Now, in full disclosure, I am a huge fan of Richmond Grid. I read it all the time. I'm a contributor to Richmond Grid. And I have friends that are in this picture. But when I saw this picture in January of this year, something rubbed me the wrong way. And let me tell you what it was. I looked at this picture, and I didn't see all of Richmond at this table. And I, I didn't see all of Richmond at the table, and I certainly didn't see the family that I've been posting about, that Cheats Movement family that I'd been involved with and I'd seen and I'd been posting about for the last three years on my blog. So I wasn't the only one that noticed this, this article. A good friend of mine, a community activist who, who isn't here today but wanted to be, Deron Chavis, um, saw this article and posted it on his, blog, on his Facebook page. And within hours, if not minutes, there was this groundswell of frustration, about 80-something comments talking about what Richmond and what community meant. And I looked at these comments, and I've got to be honest, most of the comments were slanted. Most of the comments were misplaced. There was no ill will at the article or anything like that. There was no ill will about Richmond Grid. But what I noticed was there was a lot of energy about this topic, about Richmond and community. And I noticed a few other things. Everyone that commented on Duran's Facebook page seemed to be starting from a different place. And the other thing I noticed was that there was not any place, any platform that I was aware of where all of Richmond could be invited to talk about Richmond and their community. So what I did in March, I decided on the blog that we were going to send an open invitation to anyone that wanted to answer the following question. What does community mean to you? What happened next was actually, frankly, remarkable for, for a little blog in my site. But we had a week worth of post. We had 49. Uh, plus post from all different aspects of Richmond with some of the most uplifting, some of the most inspiring, and some of the most interesting comments about Richmond that I'd ever seen. Let's just face it, let's just face it. There's not every day that you can get the mayor of Richmond, businessman Jim Ucrop, and underground hip hop legend Black Liquid <laughs> all talking about Richmond's community all in one place, all in the same blog. 
And I just thought that that was awesome. And I think it's important to realize, while there was no, there's no right answer, while there was no right answer, there were comments of all of these stories of people that wanted to be at the table. They wanted to be involved. And they all had stories to tell about their community in Richmond. So what I tried to do was, there's tons of stories, and there's tons of, there, there, some of them are long, some of them are awesome. Um, all of them are awesome, but some of them are long. But what I tried to do was I tried to cut out sentences that really capture the spirit of community. And what I also tried to do was capture sentences that frankly challenged me. And I'm going to ask you, hopefully they challenge you. Jonathan Zerr wrote, I think of community as a place where people feel connected, respected, and valued. It is a place where people can be their full selves without fear of judgment. For me, the ideal community is one where everyone, regardless of their socioeconomic status, cares about one another, looks out for one another, a feeling that if the community is doing well, I will do well. Community is a group of people that rallies around you, lifts you up, that shows, you, um, that shows up when you least expect it to lend their support when you didn't know it was needed. Think about that. Does that challenge you at all? Are you a part of something bigger than yourselves? Do you make your neighbors feel respected, connected, and involved? Do you communicate with your neighbors? These are some of the questions that we have to ask ourselves as Richmonders. But community is not that simple, right? The concept of community is not absolute. Community is with many things in life and beyond is what you make it. Here's a great one. Before we go all kumbaya on Richmond talking about community, think honestly. Who would be considered a part of your community during the zombie apocalypse? <laughs> Read this one. And, I live on the north side of Richmond with a physical, physical proximity to my neighbors across and on either side of me, but I don't communicate with them regularly. How is that truly community? It is in the act of communicating that we have found a community. Do you communicate with your neighbors? How, oh, excuse me, this is a great one. I love this one really quick. I think community is the new family. Family that you choose with intention. You can be a part of as many as you want, uh, as many as you want to invest in. Yes, invest. Are you invested? Are you communicating? Who would be a part of your community during the zombie apocalypse? All valid questions, right? The thing is, what does everyone say is needed to make a healthy, vibrant Richmond community? The answer is you. You need to be involved in your community. Community is all about what you put in and what you take away from it. These are two of my favorite slides because no matter what we talk about, now lovey-dovey it is, even with a project like this, there is extreme differences, right? There's differences and different meanings in every community. These are two of my favorite slides that demonstrate this. Mary Dwight Jones wrote, to me, community means that we care about one another. We care about education even if we don't have kids in the school system. Very valid point, correct? One man's opinion. Malcolm Venable wrote, I always say if Frederick Douglass can escape slavery and learn to read 200 years ago, surely you can go to the library and figure out how to get a job or start a business. It's a valid point as well. I thought it was more funny than grunt. <laughs> I, I, I laughed. <laughs> but here's where I need your help. What's next? We've got about 50 plus guest posts now. I, we need more. We need to figure out how we can use this feedback in a positive way to continue to challenge ourselves and to challenge Richmond. What pockets of community, what cultures are missing, what communities are missing? I, we did this, I did this very quickly with, on a week on a website. I am not the end all be all. Most of you probably haven't even heard of the Cheats Movement. We are missing things, but I need your help to get involved. Your voice is needed to make this happen. And the best part of this whole thing is, we don't have to reinvent the wheel here in Richmond. The answers are already there. It's the challenge of living up to those values that always trip us up. It starts with you. It starts with me. It starts with us. Together, we can make Richmond a better community. What up, eh?